Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a little hockey. 2020-2021 Upper Deck Allure Hockey. Five box, random team break number two. One spot gets you two random teams each. An all card ship. Big thanks to this group here. Let's double you up. Oh, uh, double up. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Like Sir Mix a lot. There's the combo right there. Ducks, Coyotes are comboed. Thursday Night Football on the background. I think we've... Oh, that's an interception. Wow. Let's randomize names and teams three times. Wow, Giants coming up with a huge interception. With 2.16 left in the game, only down a point. Ooh, you just have to protect the ball, Taylor. Three times. This has been a great game. I think we've been treated to two great Thursday Night Football games in a row. Two and a one, three times for names and teams. One, two, and three. Rick down to Robert. Two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. Kings down to Red Wings. Wow, that's crazy. Now the Giants have to eat clocks, still score. All right, Rick with my Kings. Taylor, Tyler, that is, with the Canadiens. Don McRae with the Maple Leafs. Rick with the Blue Jackets. Silvio with the Islanders. Scott with the Blackhawks. Tyler with the Penguins. Nick with the Devils. Don McRae with the Canucks, the Lightning, and the Rangers. Spencer with the Oilers. Mike Tower with the Golden Knights. Don Rabb. You have the Natural Predators, Don M with the Flyers and Senators, Nick with the Bruins, Spencer, Combo Team, Ducks and Coyotes, Sylvia with the Stars, Robert with the Panthers, Don M with the St. Louis Blues, Mike with the Sabres, Don R with the Sharks, Don M, Wild, Capitals and Avalanche, Scott with the Flames, Don M with the Jets, the Hurricanes, and Robert with the Detroit Red Wings. Let's sort alphabetically by team. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. Stick around. Oh, welcome back, folks. So Giants are now up 29-27 on the Washington football team. So Giants, before we pause the video, Giants had settled for the field goal. Had to settle for the field goal. Washington gets the ball back, trying to get into field goal range and beat the, beat the Giants. 39 seconds left, and that's it. First and ten, play blown dead. All right, good luck, RTR. What's up? You didn't know there was no there's no minor league championship this year. It's hmm. kind of odd. Gilo, what's up? Do I think win probability charts in sports are useful? Yes. Are you talking like pre-game or like real-time win probability or both? Yeah, I think it's useful. If you're trying to do like in-game wagering, you can try to use that probability percentage to try to correlate it with, uh, with the money line that's currently being offered. And you can try to find some edges there. I think it's a fun talking point. I think it's a good talking point, though. I don't know if they really are super helpful, but just another talking point, I guess. Because it'll be like, I'm sure this game is like, you know, the Washington football team have a, you know, 55% chance of winning. And I guess that's kind of interesting to know. <laughs> All right, so all card ship, all those rainbows are really cool. These double rainbows are a little bit thicker right there, which is pretty neat. So that double rainbow, Philip uh, Broberg, will go to the Edmonton Oilers. That's going to be for Spencer. 
Brad Marchand, Black Rainbow. And we've got a Morgan Gecki. For the Carolina Hurricanes, that's going to be Don McRae with Carolina. How's that even calculated? I don't know. Computers. <laughs> but I think they just have they have a computer just calculating all these different probabilities. Like they take data, historical data from field position to time to the players on the field, what they can do, the stats, what Taylor Heineke can do with you know at with 27 seconds left in the game. What happens historically in games that are this close between these kind of teams? So I think they use a lot of like that scenario kind of data and then some player data, individual player data to try to figure to figure all that out. I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm, I don't know exactly how it works, but... There's a refractor rookie, Alexander Romanov, for the Canadiens. That'll be for Tyler Vale. I like these rookie, uh, I like these orange slice parallels here. Nice die cut. Nicholas Bodine for Chicago. That's going to be for Scott. Are they in field goal range? No, they're out of field goal range. That's a first down. Thomas Harley. And our autograph is Kiefer Bellows. Now, my hockey knowledge, not very strong. So you're going to have to let me know if, if we like Kiefer Bellows a lot. This goes to the Islanders. Silvio with the green auto. I mean, I know this guy. I keep forgetting about the stickers that they put on the... Edge of the box is there. Yeah, it, it probably is more for gamblers, the winning percentage stuff. Probably more for gamblers. And like trying to use win percentage to, to like in game wagering, like on like live wager on, on the money line to who wins the game. All right, next box. Good luck. There's another double rainbow right here. These are pretty cool. <laughs> Anze Kopitar, Red Rainbow. And there's a Kale McCarr. Orange slice die cut for Colorado. That'll be for Don. And we've got Shane Bowers for the Avs. That's going to be for Don McRae. Forty-eight yards. Dustin Hopkins. It's up. It's wide right. Wow! With time expiring, the Giants win by one point. But there's a flag. The Giants are off sides? Wow.
Five yard penalty and a first down. Oh, come on, Giants. My favorite statistic in sports is war, wins above replacement. Because I think I think that that is that allows you to kind of well, let's see if he makes his forty three yarder first. Oh, I thought he missed it again. Wow. Washington football team wins by one point. He went from zero to hero. Oh, boy. Uh, I like wins above replacement because I, I think it's a, you're able to kind of see how a player... It's easier to compare players in different eras with wins above replacement because it, it compares them to their own peers. You know what I mean? Yeah, Oliver, what a, what a great game. The last Thursday night was great. This tonight was great. Ooh. There's Carter Hart, Red Rainbow. Ovechkin. And we got another die cut. Orange Slice, Sidney Crosby, Penguins, Tyler. And we got a Lime Green. Green Quartz, that is. 68 out of 99. Connor Hellebuck for Winnipeg. That's going to be for Don McRae. Bo Horvart, Red Rainbow. And we've got Bowen Byram. Abs, Don. Tyler Benson, Red Rainbow rookie. And behind Kale McCarr is another Bowen Byram. Grand entrance. Autograph for Don McRae and the Colorado Avalanche. Green auto. All right, two more boxes to go. If you uh, look at the break schedule, go to the Joe's Picks tab. I was on the New York Football Giants plus three and a half. Boy, I thought they were going to win outright for a second there, though. We have a we have a weekly pool here at Jaspies where we select just games straight up. I did pick the Giants. I wanted them to win there. What's next Thursday's game? Man. Usually Thursday night games are kind of duds, but pretty good here. And there's a rookie, Alexi Lafreniere, for the Rangers, Don, with New York. We got Martin Jones, Green Quartz, Don Rabb. With that one, 53 out of 99 on that die cut. Thomas Harley, Dallas Relic, going to Silvio.
King of Potatoes saying Carolina at Houston next week. Well, I don't know how, how appetizing that matchup sounds on paper, but I guess you could say the same thing about this game. This game turned out to be pretty good. And we've got a, what is this? Philip Kurashev in a very familiar looking pattern. This is for the Chicago Blackhawks, Scott Corwin. That is a one of one Golden Treasures auto. Scott with the Chicago Blackhawks. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I don't know, again, I don't know if he's a good player or not, but I hope he is. If not, I hope he becomes one this season, this upcoming season. And there's a Connor McDavid. All right, final allure box. Thanks, everyone, for the fill. Appreciate it. Man, that's brutal. The guy, the guy who went offside for the New York Football Giants on that missed kick by Washington. Oof. That's a long. That's a long flight home. Are they flying? Hey, how close is? I'm a, I'm a West Coaster. How close is DC to New York? Are they taking a train back? A private bus, maybe? Like a really nice bus? I don't know how that. I don't know how that works. All right, we got City Selly. Uh, that is a different parallel right here. But that's Bren Gallagher for Montreal. Evgeny Malkin, orange slice for the Penguins. And there's Ty Delandrea, 30 out of 99. The Malkin goes to Tyler and the Penguins, and the Ty goes to Dallas, and that's for Silvio. Brady or Rogers this week? Yeah, I think King is right. Rogers does 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 carve up Detroit pretty well, and Rogers usually pretty good after a bye. After a loss, that is not a bye. <laughs> It was like a buy. They were playing like it was a buy. Who's uh? Who are they playing? Oh, who's who are the Buccaneers playing? Falcons, maybe. Uh, I don't know, Feltz. How many boxes are in a case of hybrid? That'll, that should answer your question. I, I, I honestly don't know. Don with the Flyers relic, James Van Reedsmick. Uh, that's Last Bob Mojo for Don M. There's another base, Alexi Lafreniere. Hmm, Brady and the Falcons. I guess it depends on whether you think Rodgers is, is rusty to start the season. If you think that, then maybe you go, then you go Brady. Yeah, well, for the game overall, though, Boone, yeah, sometimes those Detroit Packers games can get kind of crazy. There's Jason Robertson, last uh, hit here for Silvio in the Dallas Stars. Sometimes those games can get crazy. I'm tempted to take the Lions plus the points. I think they might be able to kind of keep it close, but it could be a higher scoring game, though, which may favor Aaron Rodgers. There you go, folks. That was 2020-2021 Upper Deck Allure Hockey. Five box Ram Team break number two. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next hockey break. Bye-bye.